Hey guys, it's Sam and Sarah Gaming here, and today we are going to be showing our Friday 13th collection. So, we're going to show off our VHS discs first because back then they were pretty expensive. So, yeah. we pretty much have every single one. Yeah, there's the VHS, the yeah. Blu ray. I don't have all the Blu rays, but I got all yeah. the DVDs and all the VHSs and all the laser discs. Um, we'll go through them here in a minute. There's part one. There's the Friday the 13th Xbox One game. I have the PS4 version too, but it's downloaded. Which is mine, which I've been using. And there's but. the NES one. It's mm -hmm. complete in a box. I even, when I bought it, it didn't have the manual and everything, so I went back and rebought the manual and everything, so it's all in there. This uh, was a. It's our little yeah. retro Jason thing. Yeah, but the, for some reason, the, I think the battery is going bad in it, so you can open it up and show them. So don't worry yeah. about the annoying music. You yeah. and your friends are dead. Game over. Yeah, yeah. The music. But that's it's not to That's not the one that was bought at the con, because there's another one that was bought at the con. I don't think it had audio, if I remember correctly. So... Well, let's, go, let's keep with the VHSs. Oh, yeah. Friday 13th. Part two, mm -hmm. they pretty much have like some of them have two of the same copies. Yeah, I haven't even so opened some of them. Even some of them have so, says the deluxe. And I'll show you our pictures and everything. Edition. We'll I mean, show you the pictures in a second. Most of these VHSs are pretty good but, shape, like this one especially is probably the best. Yeah, I'm gonna ask all of you um, subscribers a question: What is your favorite Friday Thirteenth movie? There you go. Of course. Mine, everybody's going to kill me. Don't kill me in the comments. Uh, mine is Jason X. Just, be, just because, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's so self-aware. And uh, Kane Hunter does a good job in the movie. And he was allowed to make up some of the stuff as he went along. So, But anyways, back to the VHSs and the DVDs. And, I also uh, agree. Part 3 has... I love it. Um, it. We have the 3D version. Yeah, the 3D and the non-3D version. <laughs> These have, we and then they come with the glasses. Which we don't really like to watch the 3D version. Yeah, it kind of doesn't pan out well, but I think, I think the. But. Yep, they came with them too. We, we tried to watch it. Yeah, we tried to. The only thing that's different between that one is because it's all black. Yeah, this it looks one's like a hockey like mask. Jason. Yeah. So, we got the final chapter. Mm -hmm. Part four Ted White. Yes. They're going to part five. And if you guys hopefully I don't butcher his last name, Tom Moraga. There he is right there. But anyways, back up here. Okay, this one. Oh, no, it's open. Part six, CJ Graham. Mm -hmm. Played him. CJ's a super nice guy. Actually, all the Jasons are very nice guys. Mm-hmm. Especially Ken Hodder. Yeah. Richard Broker's the only one I never uh, met. And I haven't met um, uh, Jason, Freddy vs. Jason. Um, I know his name all the time, and now for some reason it's left my mind. There's Kane Hodder's first role as Jason. Mm-hmm. And there's Laura Park Cantley. Super very nice. Mm-hmm. I just noticed that she we played, have, she played like, Tina. two pictures. Yeah. She played Tina in the movie. Then we got uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. Yep. To be honest with you... I had a few you, different covers here. I think somebody actually sent me... The wrong one, he was supposed to send me seven, he sent me eight, so then he just sent me seven for free. So after that, so I had an extra eight. Yeah. They're both different cover covers. Uh, Jason Goes to Hell. Most this of the laser discs look the same, but we'll get to them. And then, it goes to me and my Jason dad's X. favorite. Yeah, and I ended up with two copies because I had bought a collection of the DVDs and then I ended up with the next one. Cause me and Dad love Jason X. Mm -hmm. Ever since I've watched it, I wanted to watch it every Jason night. <laughs> see, at ninety three, I was like six or seven, and my mom took me to see Jason Goes to Hell, and that's I think I'd seen bits and pieces of them before that, but that was the first one I seen in movie theaters. But Jason X was really the one that got me back into the Friday the Thirteenth. I think I had it on the computer or something like that, and that was really what got me back into the Friday the 13th. But. And I think he just kept watching and watching yeah. it because he loved it. Was it was Robert England and uh, Ken. 
to be honest with you guys, if you guys didn't know, um, Kane Hodder wanted to play as Jason in this one, but yeah. he couldn't. He did. He didn't. Yeah, because he couldn't. And uh. But luckily, he got to play in Jason X. Yeah. That's like a really awesome movie. Ken did a good job though too. So I mean, I, you know, I can't complain. So I, haven't met, we, I haven't met Ken yet. That's one of the other ones I met. So we'll now, go. since we finished the VHSs, time. Here's the laser disc. They're pretty much and the most you, expensive. Yep. Part eight is the most expensive. Yeah. But, uh, Tina, if you want to hold this real quick, I'll show them what a laser disc is. Ugh. Well, these were popular in other countries, not really in America. We had the VHSs, and these were popular in other places. But these are really what started the DVDs because they had scene selection in them. Friday the 13th are a little bit expensive to collect, but. There's a laser disc if you haven't seen one it's before. It's huge. It's huge. bigger. I just saw it myself in the... Did you? You saw yourself? <laughs> yeah. But to be honest with you guys, um, there was like a contest on eBay for part eight, which... Yeah, that took me like months and months to find because they rarely ever listed. But then um, Dad got really lucky yeah. to win it. Yeah, I bought one right now. As soon as I see it go up, I checked it like... I know it sounds crazy, but I, I checked eBay every day for like new stuff. three months or something crazy. And that one finally came up and I was like, buy it now. But yeah. Yes. Part one. He's definitely not going to wait. Because yeah. Dad's trying to be a big collector for Friday the 13th. Yeah. But I'm starting to get used to it. And this is the biggest thing that we have Friday the 13th. I love it. Yeah, it hangs in our living room. But anyways, really let's good. go back to laser disc part three. Richard yeah. Broker passed away. I can't remember what year. It's uh, two thousand thirteen, I think, if I remember correctly. Don't worry, he will be remembered. Yep. Uh, Ted White, super nice guy. He actually, I'm, I met most of these guys, but yeah. um, Ted White was telling me I asked him about the creature from the Black Lagoon and the part that he played in that. He said uh, he, he wasn't in the first creature from the Black Lagoon. He was in the second one, and he was like a creature in the monster. I, or something in something in the water. I have the video that he was talking about it, but I'm gonna have to post mm -hmm. that eventually. Part five. Uh, I I think it's a really good story. Um, I think they went with a, a unique twist on it. How it wasn't Jason. I think you know you obviously cut him off in the final chapter. Everybody wanted to see him come back, so they had to you know try something different. And you know it wasn't a bad yeah. movie. I think a lot of people butcher it, but. I, really, I like them all. I mean, you gotta like them all as a as a group. You know, maybe you don't like one or two. But. It was actually pretty interesting when that was actually not Jason. Yeah. But um, if you guys watched this, you probably know that that was the person's dad because he wanted to get revenge. Yeah. After that person killed him. Yeah. But if you didn't, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. If you haven't watched uh, part five. Uh, Jason lives. Uh, C.J. Graham. Which that was the one with the real Jason. Yep. Uh, the New Blood Part Seven. We pretty much met every single one. Uh, Jason Tanks Manhattan, which is uh, probably. It's really decorated. Yeah, one of my the best ones there. Really nice. It's my favorite laser disc because it took me so long to win. And then actually, this was the first laser disc I bought. I I think I bid on it for cheap and uh, end up winning it and I'm like okay well now I gotta get the rest of them yeah <laughs> so. he was like if I get one I gotta get yeah, them all I, I gotta get them all but and uh now here, we're here's, just gonna check these out here's uh Ari Lehman he played the Jason that jumps out of the water it's like a dream but he's a super nice guy we met all of them we got a picture with uh, four of the Jasons mm -hmm. together and there's uh Steve Dash he with the the real Jason Really Which nice was guy. And he has this little, little card here. I have a few of them. Yeah, but. I had it. Yeah. I think I have. There's another one in here. Uh, yep, there is. Ted White. He played uh, Jason in the, the final chapter. Oh, there's another one too. Yeah, I think there's like three more in some yeah, place. Yeah, we got like a whole bunch because. Well, I had one up in my room. Mm -hmm. These there's, are like. I'm not, not going to butcher his name again. Uh, Tom from Part 5. These are little documentaries about. 513. Yeah. We're kind of off track. Yeah, there's the, his name is J, his name was Jason and uh, oh, this is uh, the remake with uh, Derek Mears. 
Thank you. Uh, let's go CJ Graham. Super nice guy. I have a bunch of pictures with him. Uh, Derek Mears. He was actually our first Jason we met. He was so polite and so nice of a guy. You know, mm -hmm. these guys play these serial killers in movies and in real life. They're probably the nicest guys you ever met. I mean, super nice. Yeah, even though they look different in the mm -hmm. movies, they're actually really nice. Yeah. Especially him because... Mm -hmm. He was super nice. Mm -hmm. He was super There's cool. Tommy from part five. He, we had a picture book as what? Well. Yeah. Deleted. Yeah, we lost our picture no. with him. There's Laura. Mm-hmm. We have a couple of five thirteen. Like Probably Tina in part seven, deleted. the new blood. Uh, we'll go. We'll go in here. Yeah, because we. Have to There's my picture with Tom Savini. Yes. Which does. We'll go in here. Stuff. We have a few things in here. Uh, there's part seven. Per, oh, I'm sorry. Jason X was hanging up there. I rung it in there for the video, but we have the mass we hanging have up the here. Um. We have a couple pillows. Blob. Uh, here's. CJ Graham, part six. <coughs> Steve Dash, part two. Ari Lehman, the little kid, in part one. And then Kane Hodder, seven through ten. Super nice guy. He also did the, the video game work. Did the, the motion capture for the video game. Well, let's put that up here. Stanley. Oh, Derek, there's Derek Mears. John Cassier, I think, pronounced. The Crypt Keeper. Uh, Derek Mears. Super nice guy, like I said. We got the pillows over here. This is the, um, Tony got these off of Bush, if mm -hmm. you know her. She's pretty cool. Yep. Who's a cool RK boy? Machine, yeah, fast. What? RK Machine, and then I think this is really the last one. This is uh, signed by Laura Park Kentley from Part 7 and Kane Hodder from Part 7. But, uh, yeah. super nice guy. We've had fun collecting some oh, of this wait, stuff. We have we have to show you. What? What? Your wallet. Oh, my wallet? Yeah. And I'm even this big a nerd. I got a Friday the 13th wallet I ordered off eBay. For all about Tina. <laughs> but, uh, guess give them a tell them bye and tune in for our next video. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this awesome Friday the 13th video. And also in the comments, tell us what your favorite Friday the 13th movie is. Okay guys, bye. Self Fez. 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 Sleeping. Come with me.